Right, we're starting with lesson 9A5, pr uh, products, brackets, times, brackets. Right, in all examples, simplify refers to determine the product. So firstly, I'm going to, as usual, highlight the important information which you need to also take note of. And when you see the question or instruction simplify, then you need to remember that it means determine the product. The product meaning multiplication. So just multiplication. So make notes for yourself so that it makes sense. In, uh, it might uh, seem silly at the at first, but it's something you need to remember to do. Please remember to make notes as we go along, because in the end, when you have to study for the exam and you have to study the first six months or four or five months of the year's work, then you might feel a little bit overwhelmed and then it can become too much for you. So let's just do it step by step. We're first going to start with the binomial times binomial. So by means two. So make nice headings for yourself as you go along. So by means two. Why do we say by? Because there are two terms inside a bracket. So let's just by means two. Right, so we have one two terms in one bracket. Plus and minus, they separate terms. So we have one, two terms in this bracket and we have one, two terms in this bracket. Plus and minus separates terms. So make a note of that if you didn't know it. If you did, well done. So firstly, determine the product. We know that a bracket times a, a bracket written next to another bracket means multiplication. So firstly, we have a shortcut. And there's a specific way you need to do this. So first, you're going to do the following. And I'm going to use different colors to show you what I'm actually doing and what's happening in this lesson. So take note. First, in brackets here, we're going to use the FOIL method, which means first um, outers, inners, and last. So what it means is you're going to multiply the first terms in, of each bracket. So x times x gives you x squared, right? Then outer multiplied with outer. So it's x times with the minus 2. And it's the whole minus 2. That gives you minus 2x. Then our next one is inners. Inners means we're going to multiply the 3 with the x. And that will give you plus 3x. And then last means you multiply the last term in each bracket. So let's quickly go and look at that. That means you're going to take the 3 multiplied with the minus 2. That gives you minus 6. Okay, so let's quickly run through it again. When you have binomial times binomial, you have two terms in a bracket. Um, and you have two brackets. So you start off by multiplying the first with the first the black line that you see there, then you get x squared. Then you're going to multiply the outers, which means the x multiplied with the minus 2. That gives you minus 2x. Then you're going to multiply the inners, the 3 and the x. In green there, and then you get plus 3x, and then last. So the 3 and the minus 2. That gives you minus 6. So we're going to, I'm just going to also highlight it for you so that you will remember to try to just memorize this because it's going to make it so much easier. And then all you need to do is you need to simplify. So I'm just going to write next to it simplify. 
And what I mean by that is just saying minus 2x plus 3x gives you plus x. So you're going to simplify. And that's when you get to the answer. Right. Easy enough. Let's look at example number two. Once again, please take note, it's two brackets we're multiplying. The brackets have each of them has a two term in it because it's separated by a minus and by a plus. So binomial times binomial. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the FOIL method. What does the F stands for? First, multiplied with first. Now remember, it's not just an X now. It's a 2X multiplied with a 3X. Then you get the 6X squared. Then outers, the 2X multiplied with the 4 gives you plus 8X, right? And then you're going to multiply the inners, the minus 1 with the 3x. That gives you minus 3x. And then lastly, you're going to multiply the lasts. Minus 1 times 4 gives you minus 4. Then we're going to simplify. And then, in other words, plus 3x, oh, sorry, plus 8x minus 3x gives you plus 5x minus 4. So you just write the 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. And there you go. Right, so that's easy enough. Remember, make a note for yourself. These ones are the binomial times binomial. Bi means two. So it's two terms inside a bracket, and we multiply both brackets for one another. There's a specific format you're using to do it. It's called FOIL. First, outers, inners, last. So example three is just once again. What I want you to take note of now is that the, the brackets contents are basically identical except for the signs that are opposite. This is a plus, that's a minus. So please take note, I'm going to highlight the ones that are exactly the same. And I want you to take note of that, please. The differences I'm going to highlight in different colors. Some of you guys might be visual learners. So this is how you're going to remember it. So firstly, we follow the same step, right? The method you're using, FOIL, right? Which means, and I'm just getting my pen to write. There we go. First times first. 3x times 3x gives you 9x squared. Remember, x times x gives you x squared. Then secondly, outers, 3x times minus 1 gives you minus 3x. Then inners, 1 times 3x gives you plus 3x. Good. And then the last one. Last. Plus 1 times minus 1 give you minus 1. Then we simplify. When you simplify, you will see that these two will cancel out. Minus 3x plus 3x gives you 0. So you're left with 9x squared minus 1. When do we get this? When we have binomials. And you can see the brackets contents are identical except, please take note, except for the signs that which are different. This is a plus, that one is a minus. Then we have this situation. But we're going to do another example now. What does this mean? Bracket squared, which means bracket times the bracket itself. All right, so here we have two identical brackets that we multiply. So what do we do? We use the FOIL method again. First times first gives you 4x squared. Then outers give you 6x. Inners give you 6x. And then lasts 9. Then we simplify. So we write 4x squared plus, and now you will see they don't cancel out. They, this is a plus 6, that is a plus 6. 
difference is both brackets are identical and most importantly the signs are exactly the same plus and plus so now you have 6x plus 6x gives you 12x plus 9. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you here that everything is exactly the same on the inside. That's why you have a 12x there. That's why you have a plus 6 plus 6x. Here they cancelled out because the contents of the brackets were identical except for the signs. This one was a plus, that one was a minus. Right. I want you guys now to look at number five. Now, it's basically the same as number example four. Uh, the only difference is we have a subtraction bracket here. So it's bracket squared, which means the contents is 100% identical, even the signs. So let's look at it. First, we're going to use the FOIL method again. First times first gives you 9x squared. Outers, 3x times minus y gives you minus 3xy. Inners, minus y times 3x gives you minus 3x. And lasts, minus y times minus y gives you plus y squared. Then we simplify and you get 9x squared minus 6xy plus y squared. Right, so they don't cancel out because the signs are exactly the same also, just like the rest of the contents of the bracket. Right, now example six, the only difference here now is that you have to multiply with a two. So quotient here, two, is in front of the first bracket. Now what we want you to do is you just firstly do the FOIL method. You first work with the inside of the bracket. That is very important. So we're going to envy that. And the reason why we want you to do is uh, to do this is because if you multiply the two in here, then you're going to make mistakes a lot easier than if you just do it at the end. So please do not multiply the two into each bracket from the beginning because you are just going to give yourself a lot more work and you stand you stand a chance to just make numerous errors. So let's make it easy on ourselves. We first do the FOIL method. First times first, outers times outers, inners times inners and last times last, then we get that. Second step, we simplify the bracket. We're just working inside the bracket. You can see every time we just copy the two. And now the very last step. And I'm highlighting it in a different color because it's the additional step that you do. Now only will you multiply the two into the bracket. Two times x squared gives you 2x squared. Two times minus 2x gives you minus 4x. Two times minus 3 gives you minus 6. There we go. So NB at the very end only. So you're going to copy this every time and then only multiply it in at the end. Right, then we have example 7. It might look complicated but actually it's not if you just stick to the different steps that we want you to use then it's not going to be a problem so here you can see plus and minus they separate terms so here you have one term here you have another term so it's just the same work just done doubled right and this is actually in the combination of what we've done because you can now see you have the two here and the three over here that you have to multiply in but remember you're doing it at the very end so let's do it step by step we're first going to focus on the first term which is two and then in brackets x plus three close brackets open brackets two x minus one close brackets so we're first going to sort out this part so you just copy the two there then you use the foil method and you get this answer then you write plus, it's that plus, you write the three down, and then you use the FOIL method again, and you get that. Then you're going to simplify. 
So we're going to simplify here. Minus x plus 6x gives you plus 5x. So we copy the 2 again. Open brackets 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Then plus 3 times and simplify that. Plus 3x minus x gives you plus 2x. And then only, as we did in example number 6, we're going to multiply the 2 in. Do the brackets, so 2 times 2x squared gives you 4x squared. Plus 2 times 5x gives you 10x. 2 times minus 3 gives you minus 6. Plus, then you multiply the 3 into the bracket. 3 times 3x squared gives you 9x squared. Plus 3 times 2x gives you plus 6x. Plus 3 times minus 1 gives you minus 3. And then... We're going to simplify it all. And then you get 13x squared plus 16x minus 9. Right, so I hope you've made your notes. We're going to start now with rule 1, the FL type. Use color to make the different concepts stand out for yourself. as I'm doing here. Don't worry now about this, the little symbols. I find that it's much easier to just explain it um, by the, using the examples provided. So what did you notice at example three? Let's quickly look at example three again. The, the contents of the brackets were identical except for the signs. This one has a plus and that one has a minus. So now we have the same thing again. Identical except for this one has a plus, that one has a minus. Right, so you use the FOIL method, which means first times first gives you 4x squared, outers times outers, 2x times the minus y gives you minus 2xy, inners 2x times y gives you plus 2xy. And last, so y times minus y gives you minus y squared. Then you simplify, so minus 2xy plus 2xy, so they will cancel out. Then you're left with 4x squared minus y squared. Right, and this happens when we have brackets which are identical except for this one has a plus and that one has a minus. So the middle terms cancel out, as you can see here, because they have opposite signs. So you only have to multiply the firsts and the lasts. So that is actually quite easy. And now we can go back to the symbols here. Because we know that the middle terms cancels out, the middle term terms cancel out, we can say that we only multiply the firsts and the last. That's where the name comes from. FL, first times last. So, squared and plus triangle times minus triangle give you minus triangle squared. So, let's look at example three. Right. Once again, the brackets are identical except for the signs. Therefore, we know that the middle terms will cancel. Therefore, we will use the FL type method. So first time first, 3x times 3x gives you 9x squared. Last times last, plus 5 times minus 5 gives you minus 25. Only firsts and lasts need it. Why? Because the brackets are identical except for this one has a plus and that one has a minus. Example 10, same thing over again. First times first, 5x squared times 5x squared gives you 25x to the power of 4 plus y times minus y gives you minus y squared. Then we have example 4 and the chance of you getting an example one like this in the exam or test is quite good because we want you guys at AdMaths to just 
have a little internal challenge with a mathematical problem. So here you can see you have three terms inside the bracket, three terms inside the second bracket, because there's a plus and there's a minus, plus and a minus. So the x plus y, and this one also has an x plus y, so we have a common factor in each bracket, x plus y. So we look for similarities. Write down for yourself, you're looking for something that's similar in both brackets, if you have brackets with three, three terms inside. One, two, three. Right? We call the common factor k. Just randomly, k equals, and you have to write this down, so this is very important. You have to write it down in the test or exam. k equals x plus y. Okay, so now you can see it's once again the FL type because it's only the signs that differs. So we substitute the x plus y with a k, so we have k minus 1 and k plus 1. So first times first, k times k gives you k squared, and last times last, minus 1 times plus 1 gives you minus 1. There we go. Then we substitute back, we replace the k with the x plus y, and you have x plus y in bracket squared minus 1. What does that mean? x plus y times x plus y minus 1. So then you say, First times first gives you x squared. Outers x times y gives you plus xy. Inners x times y gives plus xy plus outers. Oh, sorry, plus last. Y times y gives you y squared. Minus the 1. Simplify x squared plus 2xy plus y squared minus 1. So this is the long method. I'm going to write it down for you. This is the long method. You can also do it without substitution. So then we just skip this and this. So you can also do this without substitution, then you just put it in block brackets and you get to the same answer. So you can just use block brackets. Can you see the FL type from the outside? I hope so. I know that you guys can. So all you need to do is then just determine the x plus y bracket squared, which is in x squared plus 2xy plus y squared minus 1. That's your answer. Right, now we're going to look at rule number 2. Okay, so don't first worry about this. You will see what we're going to do. Now, bracket squared. The previous one was the FL type first times last. This one is what we call bracket squared. So it's identical brackets and the contents are identical and even the signs are the same. So we have a shorter way of doing it. So firstly, we're going to do it the long way so that you guys can see where the shorter way comes from. Right, so it's obviously the FOIL method. First times first gives you 4x squared. First, uh, the outers gives you 6x. The inners, 6x. And the lasts give you 9. Then you simplify. 4x squared plus 6x plus 6x gives you 12x plus 9. Right, so there you have your answer. But what we want you to do now is the following. There's a shortcut. I'm going to show you the shortcut quickly. Right, for the shortcut, you do the following. I'm going to number them. Number one, number one. So you multiply the first, then you get four 
x squared, then you always write plus 2. And then you're going to multiply the inners. And then So let me use a different color. So step one, step two is you, you write plus two and then you multiply the inners and then last step plus last times last. 3 times 3 gives you 9. Right, so now we're going to simplify. So then you get 4x squared. 3 times 2x gives you 6x times 2 gives you 12. Plus 12x plus 9. You see, now you get to the same answer as you did over here. So I'm going to do it just one more time, explain it to you. So I numbered them. Right, so the 2x times the 2x, that's why I numbered them 1 and 1, that's step 1. Multiply them, you get 4x squared. Then the second step is you write plus 2, always plus 2, and then you just multiply the two inners with that 2. So it's 3 times 2x times 2 gives you 12x. And then last, 3 times 3 gives you plus 9, and there you go. Right, so let's look at another example. The long method is when you use the FOIL method, which you see over here. Right, first times first, outers times outers, inners times inners, and last times last. And then I'm going to show you once more quickly the Bracket squared. Well, let's just see quickly. Bracket squared. That's what we call the method. Okay. So I'm going to write it down. Remember, step one. You're going to multiply these two. So it's 3x times 3x gives you 9x squared. Then you write plus 2. And you're going to... Multiply minus 4 times 3x. Minus 4 times 3x. And then call them number 2, number 2. So that stands for step 2, step 2. And then the last. Minus 4 times minus 4 give you plus 16. That's step 3. Step 3. Right, then we're going to simplify, so you get 9x squared. Remember, a minus times a plus gives you a minus. 4 times 3 gives you 12 times 2 gives you 24. 24x plus 16. And it's exactly the same as this answer you get over here. This method we call the bracket squared method, the one in red. Let's quickly look at this one. So you have the FOIL method here. First times first, outer times outers, inner times inners, and last times last. I'm going to show you the bracket square shortcut method again. So multiply these two, then you get x squared. Plus 2, you always write, and then you multiply this minus 2 with that x. Minus 2 times minus 2 gives you plus 4. Then we simplify. Gives you a minus 4x plus 4. And it's exactly the same as this one over here. Shortcut method. 
So now they just ask you, can you see the rule? First times first, and you get first squared. Plus two, you always write plus two, and then you multiply the middle terms with the two. And then triangle times a triangle gives you triangle squared. So very importantly, this is the short path for bracket squared, and it is compulsory to use, which means it's a have to in the exam and test from now on. So you cannot use the long method from this point forward. Remember the two in the middle term, that two over there. It's part of the formula. Right, so we're just going to look at example 12. Right, so you have the first one, x times x gives you x squared. Plus 2, you write down, that's part of the formula, as mentioned over here. Then 3 times x gives you 3x times 2 gives you 6x. You see that you have 6x here, we just wrote it out. And then 3 times 3 gives you 3 squared. So you have, when you simplify it, x squared plus 6x plus 9. Example 13, the same x squared plus 2, x times minus 7 gives you minus x times 2 gives you minus 14x, and minus 7 times minus 7 gives you plus 49. Same here, 2, remember this time it's 2x times 2x gives you 2x in brackets squared plus 2, you write out, this is part of the formula, then you write minus 5y multiplied by 2x, that's what you see here, and then minus 5y times minus 5y in brackets. Here you get your 4x squared, you simplify, minus times a plus gives you a minus, that's why you see the minus there, 2 times 2 times 5 gives you 20xy, a minus times a minus, remember, this minus you have to square, gives you a plus, a plus times a plus gives you a plus, and 5y times 5y gives you 25y squared. Right, so this is just, we need a minus, but you can still, I'm going to show you quickly, So it's 4x times 4x gives you, not 8, sixteen x squared plus 2. So it's 4x times minus 1. plus and then minus 1 squared. So let's just simplify it, then you get 16x squared. A minus times a plus gives you a minus. 4 times 2 gives you 8. 8 times 1 gives you 8, so it's minus 8x. And then minus times a minus gives you a plus. Plus times plus gives you plus 1. And there you have the exact same answer. Right, so when you get 1 with a minus x at the beginning, then it's once again the same thing. It's minus x times minus x. It's minus x squared. I prefer to write plus 2 times minus x times minus 1. Then you get plus 2x. And minus 1 times minus 1 gives you plus 1. So I'm just quickly going to write my method out. So it's plus 2 minus x minus 1 plus minus 1 squared. So let's look at it. Minus times a minus gives you x squared. A minus times a minus is a plus. Times a plus gives you a plus, gives you 
2 times x, 2x times 1 gives you still 2x. A minus times a minus gives you a plus, times a plus gives you a plus, and there you have the exact same answer. Right, so you guys are going to do exercise 1 now, and you're doing number 1, 2, number 10, and I'm going to give you 15 minutes to do it if you didn't do it yet, and thereafter we're quickly going to mark it, and then we go to the my binomial times trinomial. So you can press pause now on your screen and just work it out. Right, let's quickly mark exercise one. Right, the first one, you can see that the brackets are not identical, so we use the FOIL method. So I'm just going to say FOIL method, you write it next to it. So it's first time first, outer times outers, inner times inners, and last times last, and you get x squared minus 3x minus 10. Then the second one is basically almost, let me emphasize that, almost identical except for the signs. So this one is a plus and that one is a minus. So we use the FL type. First times first gives you x squared, last times last 2y times minus 2y gives you minus 4y squared. Right. Then the third one is basically a FOIL example and the only difference now this is with this one is you have the three which you have to multiply in at the end. So it's the FOIL method and then you just multiply the three into the bracket after after you simplified the, uh, the FOIL method then you get three times x squared gives you three x squared, three times minus two x gives you minus six x, three times minus thirty five gives you minus one hundred and five. Then number four it's bracket squared, it's the, our rule number two. So you you have to, it's a must, must, must. You have to use the shortcut method. So it's first times the first gives you x squared. Then you write plus two, that's part of our formula. Then multiply x with five, as you see over there. And then 5 times 5 gives you 5 squared. Then we're going to just simplify it. So it's x squared. 2 times x gives you 2x times 5 gives you 10x. Plus 5 times 5 gives you 25. So it's x squared plus 10x plus 25. Right, then number 5 is the bracket squared method. But you just have to multiply the 2 in at the very end. So it's x times x gives you x squared plus 2 x times minus 3 and then plus minus 3 times minus 3 gives you minus 3 squared. So then you just simplify it. It's x squared. A plus times a minus is a minus. 2 times x gives you 2x times 3 gives you 6x. So it's minus 6x. A minus times a minus gives you a plus, times that plus gives you a plus, 3 times 3 gives you 9. But now you're not done yet. Now you still have to multiply the 2 in. So it's 2 times x squared gives you 2x squared. 2 times minus 6x gives you minus 12x. 2 times 9 gives you 18. So remember when you have something like this that you always keep it till the very end and then you multiply it. Right, now we have one where you have to multiply the whole 3x at the very end. So we use the FL type because the brackets are almost identical except for the plus and the minus. So we use the FL type first time first gives you x squared. Plus times minus gives you minus. 1 times 1 gives you 1. Then you go into in the second step, 3x times x squared gives you 3x to the power of 3. 3x times minus 1 gives you minus 3x. Right. 
let's quickly look here. Here's one term, there's another term. So first we focus on the first term here. So it's the FOIL method and we just keep the two first there at the beginning. So you get 2x squared minus x plus 6x minus 3 and then you're going to multiply the two in. Then you get 4x squared plus 10x minus 6. Then we focus on the second one, the 3, you just copy like that. You use the FOIL method, you get 3x squared plus 3x minus x minus 1. And in the next step, you're going to multiply the 3 in. 3 times 3x squared gives you 9x squared. 3 times 2x gives you plus 6x. 3 times minus 1 gives you minus 3. Right. And then you have to simplify. 4x squared plus 9x squared gives you 13x squared. 10x plus 6x gives you 16x. Minus 6 plus uh, minus 6 minus 3 gives you minus 9. Right, then we have a bracket squared. So first 3x times 3x gives you 9x squared plus 2 3x minus that the 3x times minus 8 plus times a minus gives you a minus 2 times 3 gives you 6 6 times 8 gives you 48 xy and then minus 8y times minus 8y gives you plus 64y squared then number 9 is the one where you can use the substitution again you look for a common factor here you can see one so it's basically the fl type the contents is basically exactly the same except the one has a plus the other one has a minus so then you can use the k k plus one times k minus one so it's k times k the fl type k squared one plus 1 times minus 1 gives you minus 1. Then you substitute it back, you replace the k with a plus 5. Then you have the bracket squared method which you have to use. Then you get a times a gives you a squared plus 2. a times b gives you plus 2ab plus b squared minus 1. So here you can see you have two methods. You have the FL, FL type, and then here you have the bracket squared. Method. Right, then number 10, you have a trinomial, you have three terms, one, two, three, so it's a bracket squared, so in other words, you're going to look for a common factor once again, it's a plus b, as you can see, k equals a plus b, so it's k plus 1 in bracket squared. So then you use the bracket squared method. So it's k times k gives you k squared plus 2. And then k times 1 gives you k. And then times that 2 gives you 2k plus 1. Then you substitute it back. Replace the k with a plus b. As you see over there, it's a bracket squared for the first term, then you get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared plus, and then here you just multiply the 2 of the a, two times a plus two times b gives you 2a plus 2b plus one. Right. 
Now we're going to look at binomial times trinomial. All right, so let's write it down. Bi means two. Try means three. So it's a bracket with two terms times a bracket with three terms. First times first, x times x squared gives you x to the power of three, x cubed in other words, then x times two x gives you two x squared, then x times 5 gives you plus 5x. Then 3 times x squared gives you plus 3x squared. 3 times 2x gives you plus 6x. 3 times 5 gives you plus 15. Then we simplify. In other words, you're going to add the 2x plus the 3x gives you 5x squared. 5x plus 6x gives you 11x plus 15. And then just plus, plus the 1 plus the x cubed. And the plan we're using is first times first middle times outers times inners times last middle times last. So you can do it the way I did there with the blue and the green. I'm going to show it to you once again. Here, first times first, x times x squared gives you x to the power of 3, x times 2x gives you 2x squared, x times 4 gives you plus 4x, then minus 2 times x squared gives you minus 2x squared, Minus 2 times 2x gives you minus 4x, and minus 2 times 4 gives you minus 8. Right, then we simplify, and we get, you will see, these two will cancel out, and these two. So you have x to the power of 3x cubed minus 8. That's left. Right. Let's quickly look at this one also. x times x squared gives you x, x cubed. x times minus 3x gives you minus 3x squared. x times 9 gives you plus 9x. 3 times x squared gives you 3x squared. 3 times minus 3x gives you minus 9x. 3 times 9 gives you plus 27. Right? Once again, you will see the middle terms will cancel out. So we have x cubed plus 27 left. First and last. Right, are the last two short answers merely by accident? Question. Look at the arrangement of the respective brackets. It follows this format. Right. Block and a block squared. Then you have triangle, we just use a different color, and a triangle square. And then when you work with the minus, then this one needs to be a plus, and that one needs to be a Minus. Uh, that's one also needs to be a plus. Right, so an example when you have a binomial times a trinomial x and this sec and the trinomial bracket needs to be the square of the first term. So x x squared three and the square of three is nine. And if it's a plus the uh, binomial, then you must have a minus plus, minus plus. So this one is actually the example of number 19. So block, block squared, triangle, triangle squared. If it's a plus in the binomial bracket, then the trinomial needs to be a minus and a plus, a minus and a plus. Right. So it might not make sense at this 
moment, but it will. You will see when we do actual examples. Let's quickly do number example twenty. All right. Two x and the, remember this is a binomial two means by trinomial three term. So two x times four x squared. So the square of 2x is 4x squared. So that works out. So it's almost like a little checklist that you have to do. And then 5. If you square that, you get 25. Yes, that works out. If it's a plus, then this one needs to be a minus and that one a plus and it's actually exactly that. So then you can say first times last. 2x times 4x squared gives you 8x cubed plus times a plus gives you a plus 5 times 25 gives you 125. So first times last. Let's look at this one quickly. Remember this one was a plus and that a plus in the binomial and the trinomial needs to be a minus and then a plus. Now let's, if the binomial is a minus, then the trinomial needs to have two pluses. Let's see, the square of a 3x is a 9x squared, yes. Square of a 4 is a 16 and it's a minus and there needs to be a plus and a plus and it is. So then you can use the FL type. First times first, 3x times 9x squared. gives you 27x cubed and minus 4 times 16 gives you minus 64. Right, then example 22. X, x squared, 2y, 4y squared. Yes, it's a plus and this one needs to be a minus and it is and this one needs to be a plus. So it's first time first. X times x squared gives you x cubed and then plus times a plus gives you a plus. 2y times 4y squared gives you 8y cubed. Correct. Please take a look at this one. It's a minus, so in other words, this one actually, let's first check, do, go through our checklist. I'm going to write in red here. Okay, x, x squared, yes. Minus one, oh, sorry, one and a one, yes. If it's a minus, then this one needs to be a plus, it is, and that one needs to be also a plus, and it's not. So therefore, not rule three, because that's not the plus. So therefore, if you see it's not rule three, then unfortunately, you have to use the long method. x times x squared gives you x cubed. x times x gives you plus x squared. x times minus 1 gives you minus x. Then minus 1 times x squared gives you minus x squared. minus 1 times x gives you minus x. minus 1 times minus 1 gives you plus 1. Right? And then you will see plus x squared and minus x squared will cancel out. Minus x so this minus x minus x gives you minus 2x. You just write the x cubed down, plus 1, and there you have your answer. It does expand on. Now they have trinomial times trinomial, so three terms times three terms. Look whether you see similarities. No. So it's a long method x times 2x gives you 2x squared, x times y gives you xy, x times minus 3z gives you minus 3xz, right? Then 2y times 2x gives you 4xy, 2y times y gives you 2y squared, 2y times minus 3z gives you minus 6yz. 
right z times 2x gives you 2xz z times y gives you yz z times minus 3z gives you minus 3z squared then you simplify and you get this answer 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 3z squared plus 5xy minus xy minus 5yz. Right, when it's a trinomial squared bracket, then it means it's a three-term bracket times the identical three-term bracket. Signs also being exactly the same. So what you do then we're going to show you a shortcut, but firstly, the long path is you multiply it like this. Then like that. And then like this. Then you get this answer. Then you simplify it and you get a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. Right, so we're going to now show you quickly the shortcut, which is this one. So when you do a shortcut of after trinomial squared bracket, then it looks like this. If it's trinomial squared, which means it's two trinomial brackets that are identical, especially also the signs, then it's first one squared. So it's 3x in brackets squared. Then you get 9x squared. Then it's the second one, second term squared. That's minus 2y squared. Then you get 4y squared. So it's a plus times a minus, remember, to get that plus. Then the third one squared plus 5z in brackets squared, then you get 25z squared. Right? So it's first one squared, second one squared, third one squared. And then plus, then it's the first two that you multiply. 3x times minus 2y times the 2. So you write plus 2 and then you multiply these two. Then you get 3x times minus 2y. Then you get minus 12xy. Then it's the outers. So it's plus 2, this you write down as part of the formula, 3x times 5z gives you plus 30xz, and then it's the second and the third one. So it's uh, once again plus 2, and then the second one minus 2y times 5z, then you get minus 20yz. So let's look at it again. When you have a trinomial squared, then it's the first one squared, second term squared, third term squared, plus 2 times the first and the second, plus 2 times the first and the third, plus 2 times the second and the third. Right, you guys are now going to do ex exercise 2, number 1 up to 10. And you're going to get 15 minutes for that. So press pause on your screen if you haven't worked it out yet. And then you press play again afterwards so that we can just mark it. Right. So exercise two, number one. It's a binomial times a trinomial. Right. So... What you will do here, you will check for with a 2x, with you have your 4x squared, you don't, so it's the long road.
then you get 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 19x plus 15. Then the second one, x, x squared, yes, 2 is 4. If you square 2, you get 4. If it's a plus, this one needs to be a minus, that one a plus, so it works out. So now you can use the FL type, first times first, last times last, and you get x cubed plus 8. This one over here. Remember, if it's a plus, this one needs to be a minus, and it's not, so therefore, long method. And you get x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. Right. Then let's quickly look. The FL type, because if you square 2x, you get 4x squared. If you square minus 3, you get plus 9. If it's a minus, this one needs to be a plus. That one a plus, yes. So you can use the FL type and you get 8x cubed minus 27. Then it's a trinomial bracket times a different trinomial bracket, so it's the long method. Right, then you get 16x squared minus 12y squared minus 5z squared plus xy minus 13x Z plus 23YZ, right? And then the number six, it's a trinomial squared bracket. So therefore we can use the shortcut method. So it's the first one squared plus the second, second one squared plus the third one squared. Then plus two times the first two gives you two AB times two gives you plus four AB, correct? Plus two Usually it's a times minus 3c, which gives you minus 3ac times 2 gives you minus 6ac. So they just swapped it around and then a times, then 2b times minus 3c gives you minus 6bc times 2 gives you minus 12bc. So they just swapped the last two steps around, but you still get the same answer, right? And then number seven, first one squared, second one squared, third one squared, plus two, first and second gives you two xy, plus two times x gives you two x, plus two y. Right, number eight, you once again look for, it's a binomial times a trinomial. You get common factor x plus y, and over here is also x plus y. So it's x plus y in bracket squared plus x plus y times to one. Then you get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared plus x plus y. Then you have a binomial times a trinomial, square, yes, square, yes. If it's a minus, this one needs to be a plus, and that one needs to be a plus, yes. So therefore, you can use the FL method. First times first, x, uh, x cubed, last times last, minus 3y times 9y squared gives you minus 27y cubed. And then you have your trinomial squared, so it's the first one squared, plus the second one squared, plus the third one squared, then plus, plus 2, x times 3, uh, x times 3, y gives you, plus times a minus gives you minus, 3, x, y times 2 gives you 6, x, y, yes, plus 2, x times minus 5 gives you minus, 5x times 2 gives you minus 10x, plus 2, 
3y minus 3y times minus 5 gives you plus 15y times 2 gives you plus 30y. Right. Now we're just quickly going to look at the homework. You guys are going to press pause, do numbers 1 to 10 quickly for the homework, and then you're going to press play again. So press pause in your screen and quickly work it out. Right, let's quickly mark the homework. It's the FOIL method, and you first just keep the, sorry, the five outside. You just copy it like this, then it's first time first, inner times inner, oh, so, sorry, first time first, outer times outer, inner times inner, and last times last. Then you get in brackets 3x squared minus 4x minus 15. Then you multiply the 5 in with each term and you get your answer. Here you have one, two terms. So you first solve the first term. It's bracket squared. So you use the bracket squared method. And then in the second step, you multiply the 2 in with the 4 and the x and the other 4. So I'm just going to write that down quickly. So you have bracket squared method and then you multiply also the 2 into it. And then the minus 3. And then you simplify. And you get minus x squared plus 26x minus 19. Then you have a bracket squared again. So what you do is the first one squared gives you 16. Then it's usually plus 2. Then you multiply the 4 and the minus 3y. And then the last one squared. So it's plus 9 y. Okay, so then we just simplify it. A minus times a plus gives you a minus. 4 times 3 gives you 12 times 2 gives you 24y plus 9y squared. And there you have your answer. I left out something here. You have to multiply the y which you see over here in, so it's 16y minus 24y squared plus 9y cubed. Right, then number 4. Look for the common factor. That's a minus, that's a plus. So we're going to use first times last. So x plus 2y times x plus 2y gives you x plus 2y in bracket squared. Pla minus times a plus gives you a minus. 1 times 1 gives you 1 squared. Then it's a bracket squared method. This one, bracket squared, write down bracket squared. Then you get x squared plus 4xy plus 4y. And then you just write minus 1, minus 1. Trinomial times trinomial. Right, so what you do over here look for a common fa factor which is 5 of uh, 4y minus 1 so you change this plus a sign to a minus in other words you have to change this over here to a plus right plus times plus this one will be a plus here then plus
Right, and then number six, binomial times trinomial, x times x squared. Wait, 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 let's see, yes, it actually works out, let me just clean here. A minus, so this one must be, you see that this rule doesn't apply because it needs to be a plus and a plus. So therefore we have to use the long method. And then you get x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus x. Binomial times trinomial. It's a plus, so this one needs to be a minus, and that one a plus. Yes, and it is that way, so it's first times first, 4y squared times 2y gives you 8y cubed. A plus times a plus gives you a plus, 1 times 1 gives you 1. Right, uh, trinomial squared, so it's the first squared plus the second squared plus the third squared plus 2 times 2x times y gives you 4xy plus 2 times 2x times minus 3 gives you minus 6y plus 2 times y times minus 3 gives you minus 12. Well, I just did it the other way around now, but that's your answer. You will still get to the same answer. Then number 9, trinomial times a binomial, look for a square, yes, so it's first times first, last times last, it gives you 27x cubed minus 8. First times first, yes, last times last. And then number 10, first one squared, second one squared, third one squared, plus, and this time I'm going to make sure we write it out. Let me just quickly write it here. Okay, so 5a squared gives you 25a squared, minus 2b in brackets squared gives you plus 4b squared, plus c squared gives you plus c squared, and it's plus 2 times 5a times 2b gives you minus, plus times a minus gives you a minus, 10 times 2 gives you 20ab, plus 5ac, times 2 gives you 10ac, plus minus 2b times c gives you minus 4bc, yes. Right, guys, just go through it again and make sure that you understand all the necessary rules and laws, and thank you for all your hard work.